Every 15 seconds in the United States, a home is burglarized. Burglars enter our homes and steal our property, but they steal something else as well, our safety and our security. The city of Lafayette is no different than other communities. Burglars enter our homes to steal jewelry and electronics that can be exchanged into cash quickly and easily. Burglars often receive less than 10% of the true value of the property that they steal. Over the past few years, we have worked really hard to reduce the number of burglaries within our community. In 2015, we experienced only 22 residential burglaries, the lowest number in the city for decades. By working together, we're hoping to lower this number even more. So what does a burglary look like? This scene was captured on a neighborhood surveillance camera, an ordinary vehicle parked in front of a neighbor's home. Someone exits the car and approaches our neighbor's front door. Once at the front door, the burglar rings the doorbell or knocks on the door to see if anyone is at home. Burglars want to avoid contact with anyone. They want to get in and out without being noticed. If no one answers the door, the burglar will either force open the front door or begin to look for a way into the home. In this case, when no one answered the door, the burglar returned to their vehicle. Inside the vehicle are two additional burglars hiding in the lift gate area of the vehicle. The driver then backs the car into the driveway of the home. The way the plan was supposed to work was the driver would remain in the car while the two other burglars exited through the rear hatch, broke into the home, and then returned to the car to flee the area. As the car backed into the driveway, one of the burglars in the rear of the car noticed the security camera that had captured everything they had done. Prior to burglarizing the home, the group decided to flee the area. They went to another neighborhood and broke into an unprotected home there. So what can we do to make our homes more resilient to burglary? We've got a couple of tips for you. First, locking your windows and doors is the first line of defense at your home to a burglary. We would all recognize this as an invitation to a burglar who may be passing by on the street. Easy to get in and little trouble in getting out. But this may not be as obvious of an error. Leaving a window ajar to allow air to circulate into the home during the day may seem like a good option, but this has given a burglar an easy access to your home. Even with a window like this, it presents a tempting target for a burglar. Over the years, we've seen the number of burglaries of homes with unlocked windows and doors continue to decrease. That's a good thing. A locked window or door may deter a burglar from entering the home. Burglars are opportunists waiting for you to make a short trip to school, to the store, or to the coffee shop. A minute is all they need. All exterior doors to our home should be secured with a deadbolt lock. The deadbolt should extend into the wooden frame by at least an inch. Windows should be locked and if equipped with stops, the stop should be placed into the up position. If your window does not have a stop, stops can be purchased at a local hardware store and installed very easily. Sliding glass doors present another tempting target for a residential burglar. To stop the burglar from forcing the door, place a dowel or stick in the track of the door while it is closed. This prevents the burglar from forcing the door back upon its track. Many of our residents have alarms installed upon their homes, but fail to use them when they leave. If you have an alarm, you should set it. Alarms notify the police that something is wrong at your home. It also notifies the burglar that the police are likely on their way, making them flee or get out of the house without being able to conduct a thorough search. Outside alarms also let neighbors know to look at your home, making it more risky for the burglars themselves. Burglar alarms provide an exact date and time when the crime occurred, making apprehension more likely. Like everything else, the trends in burglaries change from year to year. Recently, we have seen a significant increase in the number of burglaries that were done 
by entering through the rear yard of the home. Whether it be breaking a glass door or window, this is certainly the most common method of entry used by a burglar within our community today. By using an emergency window punch that is available at any hardware store, the burglar can reduce your glass door to shards of glass in seconds, making very little noise. We need to stop the burglar from getting to the rear doors and windows of our homes. The easiest way to do this is by installing a padlock on the hasp of your side gate. By denying the burglar easy entrance to the rear yard, he or she now needs to climb over the fence, making it more likely they will be seen by a neighbor. More than likely, they will go to another house. We've yet to see a successful entry of a home that had its side gates locked. Our fourth tip is to install motion activated lights. Burglars love the dark, and when they don't have it, they often go somewhere else to do their crime. Installing a simple motion activated light on your driveway will illuminate your vehicles as they are parked in the driveway. Lights on the side or rear of your home will alert you to the presence of something or someone in the rear yard at night. They are reasonably priced and fairly easy to install. One of the largest changes in home security over the past few years is the use of security cameras by our residents. The use of security cameras by our residents provides our investigators with the necessary clues to quickly solve a case. Cameras now provide high definition images of the exterior of a home, the roads in front of a home, and the door of the home where all burglaries start. The proclivity of these systems in our community are some of the reasons we have such a high solve rate of the burglaries we have had. By identifying and arresting burglars quickly, we prevent them from plying their trade in other areas of our community. Residents who are considering installing a camera are invited to contact the police department to borrow one of our loaner cameras, which allow you to take the camera for a test drive to find the one that is the best for your home. Our final tip for this program is to hide your valuables. If they can't find it, they can't take it with them. A safe is an excellent investment. However, the safe needs to be secured to a wall or the floor. If you can carry it in, it can be carried out. If you don't have a safe, valuable jewelry should be hidden within the home. Leave the costume jewelry in the box for them to find and believe they've found the treasure chest. Heirlooms that you would miss should be treated as such. Hide them in a place that will take the crook time to find. Time they don't have, especially if you have an alarm. If it's not profitable for them to steal in our community, they will go elsewhere. Reducing the number of residential burglaries within our community is something that we all want to do. If you would like more information about anything that you've seen in this video, please feel free to contact us at the office or through our tip line. Special thanks to our Crime Prevention Commission for their assistance in creating this presentation. By working together, we can reduce the number of burglaries that occur within our community.